hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to create calendar view in odoo and in case you missed previous discussion about how to active or inactive drag and drop feature in the kanban view please check link is given in the description and let's say if you want to learn more about odoo with different task cases you can go to here in the playlist and here you can see this odoo development playlist also here you can see different topics also available let's say if you want to learn more about ORM methods you can go to this playlist if you want to learn more about the specific fields and what is the real test case you can go to here with all the different topics also available here you can see here model attributes Odoo data files special commands then after GUI views like list view calendar view search view form view Kanban view all then after you can see like if you want to learn more about the specific workflow like it's having a crude operations create a different views then after you can also create an email template you can also send how to set up outgoing email server and how to create a PDF report you can refer this playlist because this playlist covers Odoo workflow here with different task cases and it's divided into five different episodes so it, it would be also good for the junior developer and if you need any support you can go to about page and you can shoot your email to this email id also you can support this channel using these two websites or using this join button so let's back to our main topic like how to create a calendar view so for this one let's say i'm going to in student profile you can see this Kanban view is visible right so instead of this Kanban view if you want to create also the calendar view without any third party JS library support uh, like Odoo supports inbuilt calendar view here so we don't need to add any extra JS libraries here so we will see like how to create this calendar view so let me go to here in the editor let me go to Odoo training in old school student module here in the views.xml file so we have to create a small calendar view to understand like how we can create so let's say all right so this is the form view this is kanban view and after here like we will create one more view is calendar view so for that like we have to use record model name equal to this one sorry then after model oh, sorry name your name model arc and type is xml and for the view part like we have to always remember like we have to use ir ui view let's say here we have to provide a unique id like let's say school student calendar view and the same thing we have to use here with dot name all right and here we have to provide the model which model we have to create a calendar view so simply like we will use school dot student model all right so this is our calendar view like we have to create a actual calendar view here all right so here so this is a common line of code we need to create for any of the views here like let's say if you want to create a form view list view search view calendar view kanban view you have to at least use these lines of code all right and here we have to mention in this arc attribute I mean the arc field we have to provide here the view name like calendar like this so this is our calendar view like let's say if you want to create a form view so here we have to use form let's say list let's say search or let's say Kanban view so here the same thing like we have to mention the calendar view like this all right 
and here like we have to mention the list of the fields you want to display in the front end side i mean in the calendar view so simply we will use as a name as a student name all right so here we have to use some attributes to display those records in a specific date wise so here we have to use one more attribute the name is date underscore start so date underscore start we have to provide here the date or date and time field here all right so right now we will use here create underscore date right now we don't have any specific date field here and uh, if you know about odoo and specific model level fields so by default odoo creates a five different fields and those fields are like id then after create underscore date write underscore date create underscore uid and write underscore uid so i already explained this one like what is the purpose of this each and every fields you can refer that session in our odoo development playlist all right so here i'm not talking about much more here but you have to remember like you have to use this that underscore start here in this our case like we will use here create underscore that all right here like we successfully created here a new calendar view and i know this is very easy right so now like we have to register this calendar view in windows action so let me find out that one okay so this is our calendar uh, this is our windows action of the student so simply we have to register here view underscore more so first priority is calendar view the second priority is kanban view and third priority is the tree view and the form view is the last one and it will also display in right hand side here you can also switch one view to another view so now what we have to do like simply we need to upgrade the module here so right now you can see i am already configured the pie charm with odoo here so whenever i restart the service it will automatically upgrade this module and if you don't know like how to configure this part in pie charm editor you can also refer editor level playlist over there i already explained everything so let me upgrade the module and simply let me restart the refresh the patch you can see here this calendar view add here right you can see view calendar so by default it's a week this one if you want to change the this view, this view like let's say if you want to change the month year or day wise it is also possible we will see after onward but now you can see uh, right now it's here so this is showing the current date and time here you can see october 15 2021 and here you can see the current time and let's say if you want to see all the records so we used here create uid so i'm going to in week i am going to in previous month if you see here it's august so let me go to here in the month wise now you can see like we created those records sunday 15th sunday and the month is august few records we also created here in the tuesday then after here we also created so like this way you can see and if you click here you can see here the student name then after the creation time and the hours 
like if the field is date and time it's showing also time also here and the name field here you can also click to edit so it will open the form view if you want click to delete it's it will delete the record let's say if i will click here you can see the it will redirect to the form view and simply like you can edit anything here so it is very easy right so let's say if i will refresh one more time here you can see it goes to the current date and time but let's say i want to switch this view mode like this week to the month or year or the day it is also possible like how like first we need to go to here in the calendar view and simply like we need to use mod this attribute we have to use by default it's a week but let's say if you want to use as a day wise simply like upgrade the module and refresh the patch so you can see by default it's a day like let's say if you want to switch to the month like we have to use here the month restart the service and upgrade the module refresh the patch you can see this is the month and let's say if you want to switch to the year then simply like here we have to use year as a model so like this way you can just play around with this calendar view so this is very easy to create a calendar view here right and yes don't forget to add this calendar view in the windows action otherwise it won't be work all right so that's it for now and in case you have any doubt related this discussion please comment below and see you in next session